Hi guys, I'm Ben and today I'm going to show you how to import and use audio samples with the Nakai MPC 1000. Like many MPC users, my favorite thing is actually to create a beat from drum elements. And for this purpose, I've selected a couple of sample collections, including nice drum hits from different brands. So, here's a bunch of albums that I've selected. We have Tribal Tech House from Sample Magic, Urban Ammunition from Zero G, the Loop Masters Artist Series Joy and Planet Drum Machine from Digital Redux. The first one we have here is Trouble Tech House from Sample Magic. It is about deep and percussive grooves. It includes a huge content of sounds with loops and different formats, but as well many, many drum hits that are pretty cool for the use with the MPC. The second one is a Urban Ammunition from Zero G. It includes hip hop and R&B sounds. Again, many, many loops, many formats, but most important here, great hip hop and R&B elements for the creation of urban grooves. The third one I've selected is uh, Joy Youngman from the Loop Masters Artist Series. I like pretty much Joy's music, but it sounds like he's a great sound designer too, offering a large point of French house music elements, with many drums included. Collection. And the last one that I appreciate a lot is a Planet Drum Machine from the Digital Redux A Class series. This time there's no loops, no thousands of formats, but drum hits only. And they are all recorded from the drum machine of uh, the last four years. So if you like drum machine sounds to create your own groove, uh, this is really a killer. Now I will do a selection of sounds as uh, each DVD contains over 4 GB of samples. And obviously, we can't move all of them to the MPC. And uh, this selection is made of kicks, snares, rim, claps, head shakers, and different percussion from uh, the four albums that we've seen. So we want to go ahead and uh, move these samples to the MPC. But first, we have to know that uh, the MPC has the inconvenience of being only 16 bit and 44 kilohertz compatible. So what we need to do first is to convert these samples. And uh, there are many applications that are able to convert uh, samples, uh, just like WebLab or Peak for Mac or different DAWs. But I want to choose one popular application, which is iTunes. So let me open first iTunes. I will show you how to convert these samples. Here we go. And uh, the first thing to do is to create a new playlist. So file, new playlist. I will name it uh, MPC Convert. And I will move all my samples to this playlist. So now I want to convert to the right file format. So I will go to the iTunes Preferences and import settings right here. So we have different encoders, and I want the WAV encoder because uh, the MPC is only compatible with WAV 5. Then I will make custom to choose my sample rate, 44 kilohertz. The sample size 16 bit. And the channels will be set to automatic. Uh, this is quite a convenient feature because it allows you to automatically convert stereo files to stereo and mono files to mono. For MPC user, this is something important uh, because if you have a mono file that you convert to a stereo file, this will take two times more space in the memory as uh, the sample size will be doubled. And the MPC memory size is uh, limited actually. In the other hand, if you have a stereo file that you convert to mono, and then you will obviously lose the stereo or some sound quality as well. So let's put it to automatic. Okay, I'm fine with these uh, settings. So let's go back. And now what I have to do is uh, to select all these samples here. Go to advanced. And we see here, create wave versions. What I will do right now. Okay, these samples have been stored to my um, iTunes music uh, folder, so I will go there. Here is uh, the iTunes music folder. So 
So I go to music, and then the samples have not been tagged, so there's no artist and no album. But here is my selection of samples converted into 16 beat, uh, 44 kilohertz, and in a wave format. So everybody here is ready to be moved to the MPC. So let's switch on uh, the MPC 1000. It has been previously connected to the computer with a USB cable. We can see here that uh, JJOS version 1 has been installed and this operating system massively improved the Akai OS. So I really advise it. Um, so the way I will be working with this system might be slightly different to the standard Akai OS. So let's go ahead and go to the load window. Here is a USB tab that I will press to connect the MPC uh, to the computer. The MPC is now mounted and we are able to move the converted samples to the MPC. As you can see, my MPC is empty, uh, so I will create a new samples folder and copy all the samples into it. Let's now eject uh, the MPC, load the samples and create a new program. The samples are now stored into the memory card of the MPC. Let's go ahead and press the load button. We can see here our samples folder along with the samples. To assign a sample to a pad, it's very easy with the JJOS. Select a sample and press do it. The window assigned to a pad opens and you are now able to assign the sample to the desired pad. Press yes and you're down. Let's repeat this operation with the second sample. Press do it. As you can see, the second pad is automatically selected, or you can move it somewhere else with the data wheel if needed. Press yes when you're down. I will now repeat this operation with our eight kicks and eight snares to assign them to the pads and complete our first program. Let's go ahead and move to the program window. The samples have been loaded to the default program name program1 and I will now rename it. Let's call it KS, stands for Kicksnare. Press enter to complete. By hitting the pads, we can now listen to the samples that have been assigned. As you can see, the name of the samples display on the screen along with the name of the triggered pad. You are now able to create a new program for the hats and another for the percussion samples we've selected. Then you'll be up and running to make music with the new samples on your MPC and have fun. Associated with grid samples, the MPC is a fantastic instrument for the studio or the stage.